rainy season here in Japan right now, but that's not stopping us. Many people who know me and who follow me on this channel know that one of my primary pastimes here in Japan is taking kobudo, which literally translates into classic martial arts. The Kanokan system, which is my system right here, incorporates three different styles of martial arts. You've got the Jujitsu, Kenjutsu, and Iaijutsu. Now we're here in Kochi Prefecture today because this is the birthplace of our style, the Muso Shinden Eshin style of Iai. And we're here putting on a demonstration slash seminar slash lecture open free to the public to teach them more about the art as well as its connection here to this town. EI is the art of drawing the sword as an attack in case of a surprise attack. This battle didn't always happen when you were planning for it. So how do you draw the sword uh, to defend your life, return it to the scabbard, and go on about your business? Well, that's what today's purpose is primarily about. demonstration went extremely successfully. There were ma ma many more people in the audience than we were actually anticipating. People from all around Kochi uh, came to see us. Many of them were masters of modern day kendo or yaido or other martial arts. We also had several representatives from the local uh, Kochi Prefecture Museum, as well as some reporters. We even got our own spread in the local newspaper, which is actually kind of nice. Now the reason I made this wasn't to demonstrate to you what Iaido is or uh, Iai or Kobudo in general. There are many videos out there on YouTube that can do that, probably better than I could. Uh, the, the real point of this was to demonstrate to the people who watch my videos, generally are people who want to visit or move to Japan. And my advice to you is think about taking up a Kobudo form. I have learned so much tooling around Japan at the various places that we do these demonstrations, like historical societies, museums, and very important key shrines and temples here in the area. 
If you do this, especially when it comes to the swordsmanship, you will find yourself immersed in the history and the cultural anthropology of Japan like you never thought possible. And you'll have amazing adventures around the country that are the kinds of things that people only really dream of. So please, think about it. Additionally, of course, you're going to get the collateral benefits that come up with taking up a martial art at all, like you know, the physical fitness, the energy, the self-development. True, swordsmanship probably won't make you the next world heavyweight champion, but if nothing else, you'll have an amazing adventure and you will get the practical knowledge that you'll need for when the zombies come. And they will.